everyone, welcome back to the channel and we have yet another McFarlane Toys unboxing uh, DC Multiverse Gold Label Owlman that I happened to pick up along with Vampire Robin from the McFarlane Toy Store. So um, it wasn't Target, so I don't know if it was actually exclusive to Target, I don't remember, but hey, it's still up on the McFarlane Toy Stores if you guys are interested in it. I know it is a repaint of an owl man we had before but this is great i am digging the picture actually i wish that they would do something like to that effect as far as the cape but again it is a repaint of the original release which we will be comparing but i do see some upgrades as far as the face so far i don't see any accessories besides what it usually comes with the stand and the card which i believe the other one didn't have it either but anyway without further ado i am going to get this out of the packaging and i will be right back all right so owl man is out of the packaging and it just doesn't come with any accessories besides the normal stand dc label there and the data file that is it so no extra hands no extra fists no weapon or nothing uh which i i believe i don't remember because i didn't uh, i didn't actually do an unboxing of the original figure but uh, i think it also didn't come with anything and this one is actually uh thomas wayne jr so um i had no idea this storyline actually let's uh let me read this really quick um as a boy thomas wayne jr Plotted with the family butler, Alfred, to kill his parents, Thomas and Martha Wayne. Wow, he is a, he is a dark... I mean, I'm familiar with the uh, Owl Man uh, crime syndicate stuff. Um, but not with this particular storyline. I actually dig in the colors. Um, I do and love the original one, which he is here. Um, I don't... Yeah, I don't remember unboxing it. So I might have to check my videos because I've done so many. But I don't think I did an unboxing. I think the only crime syndicate figure that I actually unboxed um, or I did a review video was uh, Power Ring, I believe. And then the um, Ultraman Superman 2-pack with the uh, Robin Williams face on Superman. But but as you can see, uh, body sculpt is the same. I, I am digging this nice blue color. Um, it's not bright, but it's just perfect. It's like a flat type color. Uh, the cape same as before um but this one actually it's more pliable so it's softer softer so it's to the touch which is great especially when you're posing it around you can hold up better and this one's a little rougher but it's basically the same same thing same the same but um the face sculpt is different i i am bummed that they didn't put uh you know the kind of the pointed ears or the you know but he's got more of a futuristic helmet and as you can tell they put the pointed ears into the helmet itself um, and then it kind of has like this cover over i guess the hair is that supposed to be his hair no it's an actual helmet and then you got like feathers sticking out at the bottom in gray kind of so that's actually not bad um and then of course he's got more of a goggle as opposed to this arm owl man that looked like those uh infrared like Glasses, as you can see, a night type thing. Like they're all sticking out, as you can see, very noticeable. Uh, this one here, they're more flexed to the body, so it's uh, it's almost like a, like I said, it's almost like a futuristic type helmet, like a space helmet type thing. So I'm definitely gonna have to check out the storyline to find out what 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 happened, what went. Um, but as far as the details of the uniform, uh, again, the utility belt is different. Um, other than that, everything else, the gauntlet uh, or the gloves or whatever, uh, he's got that spike there, almost like Batman. And then he doesn't have it here. Uh, they do have the same hands, so there's nothing different there. The utility belt, he's got more pouches there for his stuff. This one here looks like it's like capsules that come out. So it's more, uh, it's more advanced, I guess. The knee cards or knee pads here there you can tell it's a, more of a protector here they're just more for uh, they're smaller and they're actually the same color as the uniform so they don't stand out everything else as far as the body is the same uh, the boots are the same just repainted over black so 
yeah. So overall, not bad. Oh, my utility bill so crooked, or is it just me? Yeah, overall, it's not bad. I like, I'm digging the colors. Again, I, I don't know anything about this particular storyline, so I'm going to have to check it out eventually when I got time. Uh, it might be a good read because it's actually a good figure. So with these gold label, uh, now this being the second Owl Man, and I know we did get a second Ultraman, but are we ever going to see the rest of the Ultraman, or is there another... Uh, any gold labels, uh, figures like uh, Superwoman or, you know, even a gold label, um, Power Ring or Johnny Quick. We need a Johnny Quick. Uh, so far, I substituted the Page Puncher Flash as Johnny Quick because he's got that kind of that same look. Um, but it'll be nice to get, uh, I know we had Atomica, which was just really basically a, uh, little figurine with you know no articulation which is kind of weird uh, and to be honest with you i think i might have sold it with the piece the daily planet piece because i don't really collect those uh displays but um yeah wishes uh what are the odds of us getting more gold label crime syndicates this is actually pretty good it gives you uh options um again i think the helmet Overall, it's great face sculpt. I wish they would have had the ear sticking out like the original back there. Um, but, you know, still not bad. It, it looks good overall. Uh, everything else on the figure is the same. Again, the cape, it's much better. It's more manageable. Um, and he actually pops. The color of the uniform on this figure pops. So, I am glad... Yeah, it's, I guess it is. It's worthy of a nineteen dollar gold label, not twenty five or twenty nine ninety nine or thirty four ninety nine. So, um, yeah, this is great. This is actually pretty good. Again, I can't wait for them to come up with uh, more gold label. More gold label. I'm working on my poses, so eventually I'll get better. More gold label. Uh, oh man! Now he does kind of lose the head movement because of the feather sticking out in the back of the helmet. But looking down, I mean, he looks pretty good. So um, as far as uh, this one had a little bit better movement on it, so. Uh, yeah, but yeah, again, um, it's great to see another different version of the Owl Man. Um, so for those of you who didn't get a chance to hold on to that, because I know it's it's pretty it's going up pretty well on eBay or uh, the secondary market. Um, even with this one, that one still, uh, you know, it's more true, I guess, to the comic and to the storyline. But this version, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So let's see how he stacks up next to uh, some of the other Syndicate members. And here he is next to some of his members. Now, I don't have Superwoman. I tried playing the long game, so now I haven't been able to get my hands on it. And last time I checked, it was running around $50 or so. So I'm hoping sooner or later I'll get a good deal on it. Because I just don't see myself uh, paying that much money for a Superwoman. But I guess I have a choice. And of course, um, I got rid of Atomica. Now this particular Ultraman is my favorite one. Um, just the head sculpt here. Just a lot meaner than the other version that I have. The other version it's uh, just seems a lot younger. Uh, this one here, he just looks evil. And of course, you know. That's the whole point of the crime syndicate, that they are uh, evil versions of the Justice League. So um, the other one, he just seemed a little young. He still had the red eyes, but this one here just, he looks like he's just going to, you know, fuck up some shit up. So anyway, that's it for right now, guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, uh, hit the like button, hit the notifications so you know when the videos drop. And as always, 
Thank you and continue to support each other. Continue to be a fine figure and I will see you later.